Welcome to the CF timesheet that is compatible with Google Sheets so that you can draft your session notes and track your clinical fellowship hours at the same time. What you will do first is enter your caseload and that's just a list of your students and their mandates. So if you have one student with multiple mandates, you would list that here. If you had two students with the same name, you would have to differentiate them. Otherwise, they will show up in your drop-down list as one student. Throughout your caseload, you may have students added on or you may have students dropping off, in which case keep all of that information in this one column because it drives the student name drop-down list in multiple tabs. If you have a student that gets removed off your caseload, highlight that row and when the mouse turns to the hand symbol, grab that row and pull it down on your table. And then perhaps you can insert a section divider in your drop-down list so that when you look at all of the student name fields, which we'll look at later, that student name will now be appear will now appear under the section that is removed, and you will keep a history of that student and their mandate can be removed because they're off your caseload. The section to the right is something that you could use to track the student's goals. And then if multiple students have the same goal, you could filter the report by clicking on the filter icon and then select all those students that have the same goal to see if, that, if those students could be grouped together based on things like classroom, class restrictions, and things like that. So after you fill out this information, if you enter the frequency that is listed in the mandate in this column, it will total those frequencies to let you know how many session notes you need per week. OK, so now that you've loaded the information into your caseload manager, you have a space here to enter any additional information for that one student Maybe they're getting OT, maybe they're, uh, there are special classes uh, that he cannot be pulled out of or seen during. Maybe he's in person two days a week. Maybe he's uh, got an IEP that's coming up next week. You can list all this information here. Any of these columns can be edited and changed, deleted. You can insert additional rows into this table. You can change the headings. I just left this here as an example of some typical language skills categories. And then once this column is complete, you don't need any information here to start. So once this is here, let's take a look at how it populates these two fields, these two tabs here. Once you have your caseload and once you have your schedule, you can come into this sheet and complete it and then start doing your entries for your CF. There are steps that are listed here that you can follow to complete this and start working on your session notes. First, you would enter the Monday date, month and day for the current work week. Even if you're working on a Tuesday, you still need to enter the Monday date so that this table can update with the days of the week for that week. And then if you pick the day here, let's say you don't start working until Tuesday, the date here will be automatically changed so that when you copy and paste your schedule into the timesheet, but you also don't have to fill in the date because the date is already populated. And now what you'll do is you'll put in the segment that you're in and select the activity that you're doing. If you're starting this in segment two, you would select everything as segment two. This sample is in segment one. Select the activity, put your site name. If you have multiple sites, you don't have to put that there, but you can if you want. Select from the drop down the student that you have in your caseload manager from the list. If it's an individual one on one group size, you can list one here and then put the start and end time. And then you want to count that as a CF hour and as a billable hour. Actually, it tells you the time duration of the session here. And then it tells you how much in billable hours that is. When you have groups, you have two students in a group. And for each student, you'll need to list both student names. So I would list them in alphabetical order. 
and just copy and paste the group name for the two rows here that on Monday from 115 to 145 all instances of the same group of the same session you want to count with one Y one yes and everything else no so that you can count just one half hour because if you did all students listed as Y then you would get an hour for the half hour session here is an instance where you have three students so from 840 to 910 you have a half hour and so once this is set up you can edit this as you go if things change just be aware that there is a formula that's in here and a formula in here as well as over here so if you see that this information doesn't get populated it's because either the, the formula was deleted or you haven't yet selected the day of the week or that this is blank that could give, give you an error as well so once those pieces are in the table highlight everything on the table that's in the green columns copy them and then go over to your CF tab under the first available field you will paste it however you'll see here that the session activity date is blank so you need to wait and when you see this select paste values only and then your information is provided the formulas in these two columns are highlighted gray so that you can be aware that deleting them will delete the formula and then here you're ready to start your notes these are additional fields that are included to reference the session you can edit these in the drop down tables tab you can change these you have additional rows of data that you can put in here this table will stay the same because it's just outlining the, the segments and the activities that you have within the segments mentorship is something that is conducted by your CF supervisor so you may not have to record that but I like having all of the descriptions available just so I can keep a record of things like when I've reached out by email or by phone or when we had meetings after you've entered your CF data entry sessions for the week and you realize that you're going to have a supervised visit from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock there are five rows that will be supervised so I'm going to insert five rows below it and then what I'm going to do is copy the entire thing So now we see that two hours have been added for supervision and you can leave any notes that you want here. At the same time, you could also insert a row and, and copy it and change that to mentoring. Maybe the mentorship occurred after the school day, and in which case you want these minutes to be counted. So it's 15 minutes, which is 0.25 of an hour. And you do that because the formulas that are in here will then be carried down. And it's just an easier way to navigate through the worksheet. Another item is the CF week counter you put week one for all of week one here then this would begin your week two week two here as you progress you can then see what you did in a specific week and if for any reason we let's say week two you were out for some reason and you didn't obtain the right amount of hours for your minimum requirement you could indicate something like below and whatever the minimum is let's say you are required to do 15 hours per week you can indicate that here copy and paste it this way your next week you would then write that as your week two 
And there you go. That's everything that you need for the Google Sheets version of the CF Timesheet. I hope that you found this useful and that it is helpful during your CF experience. Thank you for watching.